When you're setting up a brand new Discord server and you get to the part where you want to start adding in bots, the number one bot you're going to want to shoot for is a utility bot. Utility bots are a must have when it comes to a Discord server because they give you a whole plethora of features all packed inside one bot. Things like auto moderation, role management, reaction roles, social media automation, all of this stuff and so much more you get all packed into just one nice bot. The problem is if you go and look up utility bots, there are countless amounts of them. Whenever someone makes a Discord bot, everyone goes straight to making a utility bot because it's the number one type of bot that people are always going to add into a server. So there's gonna be a wider user base for people to find and use your bot out there. So they all make a utility bot. So I'm here today to help you out and hopefully save you a bit of time from researching all these different bots. I'm gonna tell you, in my opinion, the top five utility bots for Discord from my own experience using all these different bots. So let's go ahead and kick things off. The number one bot that I wouldn't recommend to anyone setting up a brand new Discord is Sapphire. And the reason, it's fully customizable and it's completely free. Completely free is something that you won't come across in any other utility bot out there. Trust me, I've used tons of them. I've never seen one that gives you every single thing for free. And I'm not even kidding when you go, like if we go into the dashboard here, let me load up a server that I'm in. We can load my server, for example. When you go into the dashboard, there's going to be, there is a premium service that they offer, but the only thing that premium is for is to customize the bot. You get a custom bot token to make it look like your own personal bot everything else inside here is completely free all the moderation features free to use join roles free to use social media notifications free to use reaction roles you get and not only are they free to use you get unlimited amounts of these uh uses of these features there's other bots that we'll talk about a little later in the video that do offer a lot for free but they limit how much you can use of those features for free versus sapphire you get to use every single thing for free and even though you're getting everything for free you aren't really missing out on a lot of the main features you have embedded messages here that are super customizable with how you want to set them up um you have auto moderation and a new ai model moderation to assist you with Discord's built-in auto moderation. Um, you have a bunch of different moderation commands, social media notifications, a lot of this stuff we kind of just went over. You guys get the point. If you want a more detailed video, I have, I'll link one in the description for you. Those are the pros of Sapphire. Now let's talk about the cons because nothing's perfect, right? So if you're a newer user to Discord and are newer to uh, messing around with bots and setting them up and everything, you're going to uh, find that some of the st setting up some of the things inside Sapphire are a little bit more trickier than other bots. Uh, the way that the UI is laid out, like embedded messages, for example, they're not super hard to set up, but it is a little bit trickier than other bots, especially when it comes to putting thumbnails or images, because you can't just upload an image from your file explorer like you can with a lot of other bots. You have to take an image URL, which can be a little bit trickier for some people to get. Another con that I find with Sapphire is the advanced auto moderation. With a lot of other bots, it's really easy to set up. You just toggle things on, toggle things off. This with Sapphire, it's pretty complex and pretty complicated. I'm not gonna get into a ton of it, but I just wanted to mention that setting up advanced auto moderation if you plan to do that it's a little bit complicated for a newer discord user with sapphire than it is other bots now some things i really like about probot is they have very few uh premium features if you come in and we come to a server that i have probot added into you'll see everything in here you get access for free um and really the only premium features are uh these four right here which really aren't super important features to have set up in the server another thing that i really like is a lot of utility bots don't have this you have to go and find an another bot to be able to do this is a leveling system they actually have a leveling system built directly into their own utility bot and it's pretty good you get everything for free like you get um people get uh rewarded a role whenever they reach a certain level. Uh, so you don't have to pay extra like with uh, another bot that shall not be named on this channel anymore. You have to pay if you want people to get roles when they hit certain levels, which defeats the entire purpose of leveling system. Um, I really like that this utility bot hat, that ProBot offers that. And the auto moderation, contrary to like I just mentioned with Sapphire, it's really easy to set up. Um, it's really simple, self-explanatory. It's not as complex as something like Sapphire is. Now, one big con that I do have with probot is when it comes to reaction roles you can't create an already um you can't directly create a new reaction role message directly from this self-assignable roles screen you have to use an already existing message whether it's an embed or a message that you've made you have to select an already existing one and it's not a huge complaint but it does add a little bit of extra time it's really easy to be able to just 
jump in on the re reaction roll screen and be able to create the message right then and there. Um, and you can't do that with ProBot, unfortunately. You have to have an already existing message set up, and then you have to link that message to this screen right here. And that's really the only complaint I've had with this bot. It, it's a really good bot to use, and they offer a lot of really good free features, and most of them are free to use. So definitely check it out. Next up, we have Koya Bot, which is a powerful, multifunction, and configurable Discord bot. Now, obviously, one of the instant cons to this bot is it is a little more anime themed. So if you aren't a fan of that, this might not be something that you're going to want to go to and you can skip to the next. But they do offer a lot of really good features like welcoming. They actually have a really, really good welcoming feature. I'll show you guys in just a minute. Uh, they have moderation. They have mini games built directly into the bot, which is really cool. Image manipulation, you can do social interactions, um, different kind of search features and all that stuff. Now, something I really like with this bot is the welcoming feature. It's very clean and they offer a lot for you to set up. Um, some of it is premium, like if you wanna change some of, the, um, some of the features on it, it is premium, but you can still edit a lot of stuff without, uh, without premium. And I really like the way that they have their welcome feature set up. It's really cool, really clean, and there's a lot of customization you can do with it. Now, jumping into another thing I like is the message builder. They offer a very clean and easy to use embedded message builder. Um, the only downside to it is that it does just like Sapphire, make you use image URLs instead of being able to just upload an image. So that does kind of suck, adds a little bit more time when setting that up. But other than that, it's very clean and very easy to use. If you guys are a newer Discord user, you won't have any problem setting up an embedded message like this. And while it doesn't offer you a preview over here on the right as you type it, this right here basically is your preview. Uh, so you can change the color of it. You'll see right here, this is what the embedded message will basically look like right here. Now, some of the downsides, they don't have a ton of features. Like you'll notice reaction rolls is missing from this bot. So you're not going to be able to do reaction rolls with it. When it comes to auto moderation as well, you're not really going to have a lot of auto moderation at all. You have anti-scam and that's all that they offer. Um, so you are going to be missing out on a decent amount of features with this bot, but you are getting some other ones that you aren't getting with the, with the other utility bots. Like you get mini games, image manipulation, other fun kind of stuff like that that you, your server members can use with Koya. Next on the list for utility bots is Makai. And this one offers you a good bit of features from a leveling system to a music function to a currency economy system and a lot more let's go ahead and jump into the dashboard so we can get a look jumping into the dashboard one thing that i love right away is right when you get to the dashboard every the ui is just very clean and easily laid out for anyone to understand and navigate i wish more bots would really put time into their dashboard because it seems like a lot of them just kind of make a dashboard like you've seen in some of the other bots we've looked at today uh, when comparing their dashboards to this this is by far a superior dashboard. Everything, I just love how it's set up. Now, like I mentioned briefly when we were looking at the overview for the bot, the one of the big perks about this one is they offer a lot of engagement and fun features compared to the other utility bots. So you're gonna get things like leveling, you're gonna get an economy system where people can play games and earn money from playing those games and be able to buy, buy different items that you set up in your server. You can have a, it runs a music bot, you can do giveaways, and you also get a music functionality for people to play songs and music inside your voice channels. Now, one of the big cons right away with this bot, and I'm very surprised by it myself, um, is embedded messages are a premium feature. Most bots, even the one that we're not naming on this channel, they at least they even give you one embed for free. Makai doesn't even give you a single embed for free, and that kind of sucks. Um, that is a really big downside to the bot, but if you can get past that, uh, they do offer a lot of other really cool things. And then another con with the reaction roll is just like the last, um, what was it, the pro bot, um, you have to have an already existing uh, message. You can't just jump in and be able to create a new reaction roll message. You have to have an already existing message and that's likely because of the embedded messages are premium. So most reaction roll messages are through embedded ones. And they, since you can't do embedded messages, you can't do reaction roll messages for free. So you have to use an already existing plain message from your server. Their premium is priced pretty well though. It's only $5 a month versus a lot of other bots that are pushing over the $10 threshold, threshold now. So if you are interested in using this bot and you want to be able to have the premium features, 
it's relatively cheap. And last but not least, we have a bot that has been around for a very long time, and that's a Dino bot. A bot that is used in over 8.3 million Discord servers. So chances are, if you know anything about Discord, you've probably heard or at least seen Dino bot before in another server that you've been in. Jumping into the dashboard for Dino, the first thing you'll see is there's a lot of different features that you get. And that's due to the fact that they've been around for so long that they've had a lot of time to be able to develop all these different features all into this one bot. So you'll get access to a lot of things that you want with other bots, things like forms, tags, starboard, giveaways built directly into this bot, the utility bot, all that stuff you get packed into this one bot. Another thing I like about Dinobot is they're pretty good at balancing how much you get for free versus how much you get for premium. There is, you are going to see the premium tag on a lot of things throughout here, but that's because they offer so many different functionalities that the other bots don't offer. And when I mentioned the balance, you, you do get a lot of these features for free, but they are limited. Unlike how I mentioned Sapphire is unlimited. So when you jump into reaction roles, you'll be able to set a bunch up for free, but you're only going to be able to do three reaction role messages. Once you go over that, it's going to tell you that you have to do premium. That's going to be the same for the message for embedded messages as well. You'll get to set up to three embedded messages. And then after that, it's going to tell you that you have to pay for premium. As far as cons to Dinobot, I really don't have too many. They're a really solid choice. The only thing that I don't like is that they do limit some of the free features like the embedded messages and the reaction roles that I just mentioned. That does kind of suck. But other than that, everything that they offer is really solid and really useful. And that brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys were able to get a lot of useful information and I was able to save you guys some time from having to research all these different bots and see which ones are actually good and which ones aren't good. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure to subscribe and drop a like on the video as both of those really help the channel out. And if you wanna chat more about anything Discord related, you can jump into my server. I'll have the link to that down in the description. And I promise the last plug, if you're into gaming, I am doing a lot of gaming streams. Currently we're playing through Zelda Tears of the Kingdom over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash gesture. I'll have that link down in the description as well if you wanna come over and hang out with us over there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.